I am so sorry for the technical difficulties. All the, ah, sorry. We are resuming. Uh, we are reading the Epic of Gilgamesh, Tablet 1, line 260. This should be the last video on Tablet 1. Let's go. The mother of Gilgamesh was clever and wise, well versed in everything she said to her son. Wild Cow Ninsun was clever and wise, well versed in everything she said to her Gilgamesh. The stars of heaven appeared above you, like a rock from the sky one fell down before you. You lifted it up, but it weighed too much for you. You tried to roll it, but you could not dislodge it. You lifted it up, set it down at my feet, and I, Ninsun, made it your equal. Like a wife, you loved it, caressed it, embraced it. A mighty comrade will come to you to be his friend's savior. Mightiest in the land, strength he possesses. His strength is as mighty as a rock from the sky. Like a wife, you'll love him, caress and embrace him. He will be mighty and often will save you. Having a second dream. He rose and entered before the goddess his mother, said Gilgamesh to her to his mother, Once more, O oh mother, have I had a dream. In the street of Uruk, the town square, an axe was lying with a crowd gathered around it. The land of Uruk was standing around it. The country was gathered around it. A crowd was milling about before it. The menfolk were thronging around it. I lifted it up and set it down at your feet like a life, like a wife. I loved it. I caressed it, embraced it, and you, O oh mother, you made it my equal. The mother of Gilgamesh was clever and wise. Well versed in everything she said to her son, the wild cow Ninsun was clever and wise. Well versed in everything she said to Gilgamesh. My son, the axe you saw is a friend. Like a wife, you'll love him, caress and embrace him, and I, Ninsun, I shall make him your equal. A mighty comrade will come to you and be his friend's savior. Mightiest in the land, strength he possesses. His strength is as mighty as a rock from the sky. So remember I said earlier that you need to interpret this like a dream? You need to interpret the whole thing like a dream? Well, that's, you know, that's made really clear here because Gilgamesh has dreams and the goddess is interpreting them. So the whole thing is like a dream. And that's really important to keep in mind. It's, uh, we're dreaming together right now. Said Gilgamesh to her, to his mother, May it befall me, O mother, by Counselor Enlil's command. Let me acquire a friend to counsel me. A friend to counsel me? I will acquire! So, did Gilgamesh see his dreams? After Shamhat had told them could do the dreams of Gilgamesh, the two of them, together, began making love. End of Tablet 1. <laughs> Great! So this was really fun! I had a ton of fun reading Tablet 1 of the Epic of Gilgamesh with you. There are 12 tablets, so I'm going to make a lot more of these videos in the coming months. Uh, for this video, I want to ask you some questions. One question, really, that is the question for this whole book. But let's, let's get a conversation going about it, which is, what do you think of the mythology of the Thaw? Now, that's a big question, so let's break it up into por portions. So there's... There's what is the role of women in this fall mythology, and, and then, relatedly, what should the role of women be in our society now? And then there's this other gender-neutral question about the fall, which is about humanity. What does it mean for us to have fallen? What does it mean for there to be such a strict separation between man and nature? And how do feminine qualities interface with that dichotomy? Um, so there's, there's a lot there. Um, was the fall worth falling? That's another good question to ask at this juncture. Um, so yeah, let's, let's think about the fall together, and I will see you next time with Tablet 2. Oh, okay, so let me, let me, I'll summarize. That's a good thing to end these videos with. I'm going to summarize what we just saw, and then I'll also summarize it again uh, at the beginning of the next video. So we just started reading the Epic of Gilgamesh. And the story thus far is that Gilgamesh is the god king of Uruk, and he's raping all of the bridesmaids and the people in Uruk 
they pray to the gods about this, and the gods create Ankudu from a rock from the sky. And Ankudu is this wild man, and then they send Shamhat to seduce him, and she makes him a civilized man, and then he goes to befriend Gilgamesh. So, uh, there we have it. On to chapter 2, tablet 2, next week. I'll see you then.